Hey guys, Kevin here with eTrailer, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Blue Ox Gooseneck 5th wheel hitch here in our 2015 GMC Sierra 2500. If you have a gooseneck hitch in the bed of your truck, but you still need to tow your 5th wheel trailer, or maybe you are planning on towing your 5th wheel and you just don't have anything yet, but you don't really like the look of those base rails and how much space they're going to take up even when the hitch isn't in place, then installing that gooseneck and getting yourself the Blue Ox gooseneck to fifth wheel hitch is going to be the right solution for you. All right, now that we're backed up, we have our kingpin right over the center of our hitch. I can go ahead and pull out my pin, pop out our lever, and then we're going to go ahead and lower down our pin box. Now that we're coupled up, we're going to make sure that we put our pin and clip back in place so that our handle can't pull out and uncouple from our trailer. This hitch is a nice lightweight alternative while also offering a nice sturdy base compared to some of the other options that are out on the market right now. It does come with a head that can easily pop out of place so that you can kind of break down that weight a little bit more to make it a little bit more manageable. As you know with most other fifth wheel hitches that you will insert in the bed of your truck, whether it be with base rails or with a gooseneck hitch, um, they are quite heavy, usually ranging well above 100 pounds. So it makes it a little bit harder if you're doing this by yourself. Whereas with this one, you could easily take the head out, remove it, and then remove the base. One of the most common questions we get is how much space is gonna be between my cab and my fifth wheel hitch? So on our short bed Sierra here, from the cab over, we're looking at just over 20 and three quarter inches. So I know that I have 20 and three quarter inches for my toolbox, my firewood, maybe I want to throw a cooler in here, whatever I need to haul with me while I'm hauling my fifth wheel. Another common question that you get is, can I set my hitch under my tonneau cover? Um, looking at ours right now, from our base up to our railing, we're looking at right around 20 and a half inches up to the lip on our tonneau cover that we already have on here. And we know that our hitch is going to sit at either 17 inches, 18 inches, or 19 inches, depending on where you set it with our pin. So that, along with this nice flat surface for our uh, hitch head, is gonna give you plenty of room to have that tunnel cover come down over it, as long as you don't have a cover where the rail has that support beam that goes across and kind of lands in this position. You may have to do just a little bit of fact checking beforehand, depending on that tunnel cover. The steel construction of our hitch is also powder coated so that it has a nice rust and corrosion prevention. That way you don't have to worry about this hitch rusting out over the years. Uh, one thing I don't really like about it though is that there is no rubber or kind of padding that goes on the bottom of this. So if you didn't have a liner on the bed of your truck, you'd run the risk of that just sitting there and making metal on metal contact and kind of scratching up the bed of your truck. Operation of your hitch is super simple. Simply pull out that pin and clip and you can slide your handle back and turn it and that'll lock it into place. That way you can drop your kingpin down onto the hitch itself. Once it's in place, you can twist your handle, pop it back in and you'll see that bar slide across and that's gonna lock the kingpin in place and you can secure it with your pin and clip. One nice thing about this is as our head tilts back and forth, it's gonna come into contact with this rubber bumper right here that's on both sides. What that's gonna do is kinda of help cushion it, make sure that we are kind of bending enough to keep our trailer nice and straight with our truck, but then also not having all that racket. It's not gonna be sitting and bumping against metal to metal here. It's gonna have that nice cushioned feel. And overall, as we take this out, it is a whole lot quieter than some of the other hitches on the market. As far as installation goes, this is one of the more easy hitches to put in. It's definitely a whole lot more lightweight. Uh, I can definitely tell you from throwing in a couple of companions that this definitely goes a whole lot quicker and you can easily do it by yourself. To begin the installation of this Blue Ox hitch, you are gonna need a couple of tools. Uh, first one being a 5 8 wrench, an 11 16 socket, a 15 16 socket, a 12.19 millimeter socket, and that 12 point is 
very much needed. If you have a six point, it's not going to fit. And then a torque wrench. So Blue Ox makes it really easy. They slap these stickers on the sides that tell you exactly which way to face your hitch. So we wanna have this facing towards our cab. So when we drop it down on our ball, we'll have our opening for our hitch head more towards the tailgate. So we'll put our two and five sixteenths inch ball in our gooseneck hitch and we'll drop our hitch down in place. We're gonna have these two pin and clips and we're gonna slide these through and that's just gonna help lock it down onto our gooseneck ball. Next, we're gonna take our torque wrench and our 15 16 socket and we're gonna tighten down this top bolt right here. And that specification is listed in your instructions. And tighten down this square headed bolt. Once we get that nice and hand tight, we will torque that down. And then we're gonna also torque down our jam nut. And, but these are gonna be two different torque settings. So we're gonna make sure that you have it at the right one. So go back and refer to your instructions. So here's also where that 12 point 19 millimeter socket comes into play. Like I said, if you don't have a 12 point, it will not fit on this head. But we'll go ahead and torque that down. And now we can hand tighten up our jam nut and we'll swap back over to our 15 16 socket and switch over to our correct torque setting. If you look at the side of your hitch head, there's gonna be three separate holes here. And this is how you change your hitch head height. So if you stick it in this topmost hole, you're gonna have a hitch head height of 17 inches. The next one down is gonna be 18 inches. And that third lowest one is gonna be 19 inches. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that your trailer's nose is going to be at least six to eight inches above the bed rails of your truck. That way you don't have any issues with it coming into contact. So it's a good time to go ahead and level out your trailer and just see exactly where that pin box is gonna sit uh, height wise. And then you can come back and set your hitch height. Drop our hitch head in and then we can set our hitch height using our pin and clip here. We wanna make sure that we have our handle facing the driver's side. We don't wanna have to get out of the truck and walk all the way to the other side just to couple or uncouple our hitch. But we can go ahead, we'll take our pin, and I'm gonna set it to our middle setting here. Let's pass that through. And then we're gonna wanna take this clip and just kinda pass it under our support beams here. And once we slide it through those support beams, we're going to push it through our pin. Move our jam nuts. And then we're going to take our 11 16 socket and our 5 8 wrench. And we're just gonna tighten this down and torque it to the specs that are listed in the instructions. Once we have both of those tightened, we can go ahead and do the same thing with our jam nuts. I'm just gonna hand tighten those down and then we can torque them. Well, I think that about does it for today's installation of the Blue Ox Gooseneck fifth wheel hitch here in our 2015 GMC Sierra 2500. My name's Kevin, thanks for watching.